So the final race of what has been a really busy week then at S07. It's a 1 mile 0 to 110 handicap on the dirt and it's dark side for Paul O'Neill at the top. Froglet for Thomas Rogers, Hidden Wagon for Craig Beckwith, Sayonara Paul O'Neill, Umbrian Fontenay, David Robertson, Unlimited David, Dan Hughes, Arrowhead, Daniel French, Melange Profit for Steve Rand, Regal Rumble, Nick Driver, St Julian's Bay, Darren Thompson, Nimrod, Joshua Sutherland, Just Jonah, Mark Jones, Fosh and Parliament, Vinnie Gerard, Swift as Air, Nick Driver, Trust in Solitaire, Mike Westwood, Carminsky, Speed, Steve Rand, Pacifist, Daniel French, Bobble, Mark Jones, Daughter of Dante, Joshua Sutherland, Ruggie Jim, Derek Hinton, Toronto, not really Gerard. All I want to do, Martin Lidham, she's like the wind. Derek Hinton and Ryan Costello has got the bottom two. I didn't catch their names. Galore was one of them. They're away and racing, and Ninfia was the other one, I think. They're off a big field in this, but it's Sayonara and Pacifist. Do they're going to be the first two to show, and we've got some coming over this side and some staying over that side. So I'm presuming that this is a straight trap then. So it's Pacifist in the lead from Nimrod, and all I want to do then, St. Julian's Bay, and then Galore, Fosh and Parliament, and Regal Rumble after that one, then Carminsky Speed, daughter of Dante, has been taken off its feet and is the back marker. But Nimrod's in the lead, so Joshua Sutherland first and last at this point. Pacifist is in second. Then comes all I want to do in St. Julian's Bay, Regal Rumble and Foshan Parliament. Bobbles after that one, but it's still Nimrod in the lead from Pacifist. All I want to do is with St. Julian's Bay, Regal Rumble, the two right down on this side of Carminsky Speed and Umbrian Fontenay, but it's still Nimrod in the lead from Pacifist. Nimrod and Pacifist then past the four furlong pole. Nimrod on his own in the lead from Pacifist in second then St Julian's Bay and all I want to do Sayonara is now making a forward move and bursting through to make a bit of a challenge right over on the far rail Rugged Gem is running on but Nimrod is like a missile up the centre of the track and he's still too clear Nimrod is in front from Sayonara and Pacifist all I want to do is next then comes She's Like the Wind and Fosh and Parliament but Nimrod in the lead but here comes She's Like the Wind over on the far side and also finishing fast there is Fosh and Parliament but She's Like the Wind is flying She's Like the Wind in the lead and also down on this near side now Karminski Speed it's all changed, Karminski Speed, all I want to do, they're racing up towards the final furlong, and now coming through is St Julian's Bay, the race completely changes complexion, just Jonah hits the front now, and so too Trust in Solitaire, just Jonah right over on the far side, from Trust in Solitaire, what an exciting end to the week, this is going to be a photo finish, as they flash back with both Trust in Solitaire and just Jonah, and goodness me, that race completely changed about four times in the final furlong, and... It's close that. I don't know which one's taking it. It's a win for Mike Westwood and Trust in Solitaire. So a good win there for Mike Westwood. Just Jonah second for Mark Jones. Pacifist for Daniel Ridge was third. Karminski Speed was fourth for Steve Ran. And the fifth place horse... I'll tell you in a minute. The screen's moving too fast for me because I'm absolutely worn out after this week. I can tell you, Ryan Costello's two came last. And let's have a look. It was fifth. It was Toronto, not for Vinnie Gerrard. So there must have been about six had a chance of winning that. And we'll get our breath back now and see you next week.